welcome back to my page i hope you're all doing fine in today's video as you can see we are going to be making delicious jamaican black fruit cake you guys have been requesting another video in the previous video that i posted on facebook i showed you how to get the cake darker and richer with more fruits as opposed to the one that i posted last year which was with less color and with less fruit it was light and fluffy but also delicious i literally just baked this one for my thanksgiving dinner and only one slice is left back in the baking tin so it was really good so we're gonna start off by creaming our butter and today we're using the one pound mixture if you want more fruit cake you can go ahead and double up or if you want less you can cut this recipe in half so we're gonna start off by creaming our butter I'm going to cream it for about three minutes before adding the sugar it's room temperature but we want to get it softened just a little bit more before adding the sugar and remember that your butter should be at room temperature your egg should be left out at room temperature as well and for those persons who are saying that it's hard and it takes up a lot of time the only time it takes up is when it's in the oven baking and your hands are free you can do whatever you want to do and go about your business doing whatever you want to do all right for you to be focused what you can do is go ahead and prepare everything in advance so you have your flour out already you have your sugar packaged out already everything should be packaged out and set one side until you're ready to take it up you just grab and go so if you are baking and you start with just the butter you don't know where the flour is as yet and you're running around to find it that's what makes it hard as you can see i have everything prepped all right so prepping is key so i have here my one pound of flour and i added my spices which is one tablespoon of nutmeg one tablespoon of mixed spice and one tablespoon of cinnamon powder i also have one and a half teaspoon of salt and two tablespoon of baking powder i have all of that put together and then i add it to my flour and i mix it up and sift it all right you want to sift it so that there is no lumps at all when you're ready to bake so now i'm going to prepare my fruits while my butter and sugar is mixed in i'm doing all of this all right so you have to know how to manage your time so now i'm adding two tablespoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of rose water so to get your fruit cake to the heavier more authentic texture you are going to use five cups of chopped finely chopped fruits don't puree the fruits your cake will turn pudding if you puree the fruits chop it in your processor or if you're going to use your blender you can put it on pulse and chop it up so as you can see as i mentioned before about time management my butter and sugar is still creaming because i needed to get it nice and fluffy so while that is happening i am preparing my fruits my flour mixture is prepared and I'm going to go ahead and prepare my baking pans, line them with parchment paper and grease them. And by then, my butter and my sugar will be ready. All right. As you can see, it's nice and fluffy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually mix in my egg. You don't want to dump all the eggs in there at once. You want to mix them in. If you didn't mix up your egg like mine, you can just drop in your egg one by one. And in my egg mixture, I have... A teaspoon of orange zest and a half teaspoon of lime zest you just grate it and add it to your eggs that will cut the rawness of the egg and it will also give your cake a nice flavor so I'm just using my quarter cup to take up my egg mixture and add it to my creamed butter and we're gonna do that gradually until all my egg mixture is mixed in all right and i'm doing this on medium speed it may seem as if it's going fast it's because i edited the video and speed up some sections so that i don't waste your time watching this long video that is not necessary so as soon as all my eggs are, are mixed in we're going to go ahead and i'm going to combine this with my fruits you don't have to remove it from the mixer you can continue mixing the fruits with the mixer but at this point, I like to just go ahead and do everything else with my hand using my wooden spoon. So I'm using the spoon to combine the fruits. And as soon as all my fruits mixture is combined, then we will go ahead and add our flour mixture. 
and remember we're doing the one pound mixture so i added one pound of sugar and i also added 12 eggs all right so now we're gonna go ahead and fold in our flour mixture and when i was younger and helping my aunt to bake she always said make sure that you're mixing in one direction so as you can see i am going around in a circle and then i cut it in the middle this will help your dry ingredients to be properly incorporated and you won't have any unmixed section all right so as everything is done you can tell that you have a great mixture when you spoon stand in the middle like that once you have a wooden spoon it should be standing like that you know that you have a perfect food cake mixture so i'm using browning i'm testing out this browning for the first time it's a benjamin but eve if you have eve browning make sure that you use eve browning it's one of the best all right and this is not an ad for them i don't even know those people all right i'm just giving you all the thing that i have experienced and experiment with i could not find any eve browning but one of my friends had purchased some for me i just didn't receive them as yet so i just decided to combine these two and the cake did came out perfect so i should have mentioned earlier just in case someone is watching while they're baking when you take off your butter and sugar after it's done creaming you can go ahead and preheat your oven and set a water bath in the bottom of the oven all right i should have mentioned it earlier but make sure that you do that so i have my pans already lined and i already greased them so we're gonna go ahead and fill them up this is a nine inch pan and i have four of them so this mixture will give you four nine inch cake i know a lot of people always ask how many cake that you get from each mixture so for the one pound mixture you will get four nine inch cake and as you can see i'm filling it right up because this is a dense cake you don't have to worry about it being flowing over or rising and flowing over it's a dense cake so no need to worry about that and when you're baking a lot of cake in the oven some of them will probably sink if you don't switch them around so if you want you can switch them around in the oven when they're baked halfway through all right so that they don't sink but in most instances when you have a lot of cake in the oven and the heat is not passing through evenly it will sink so to prevent that you can go ahead and switch around the cakes so that they can bake evenly and i know some people love to open the oven to look at the cake every minute <laughs> don't open your oven just turn the light on so that you can watch your cake bake if that's what you want but until it reaches an hour are over don't open your oven at all all right so the cakes are out i have my oven preheated at 250 degrees and i always bake my cake at either 250 or 280 because i like when they slow bake i don't want them to bake too fast at a high temperature and then the cake is dry and not properly soaked so here they are and they were so good i have this the first set that you watch me just mix I will show you the result of that one because these are two batches and they're all mixed up right now but for the first batch that i bake this is this one right here is from that mixture all right and this is how i love my cake i don't like it too black but someone requested their cake really black so for the second batch i added more browning which i will cut in my second clip to show you that color so this is from the second batch i bake two for myself one from each batch to keep in my house for thanksgiving and as i tell you they already went through one of the tin <laughs> so this is the second one and this cake was also good it, the only difference from the first batch is more browning it's the same mixture same amount of fruits and it's the same one pound mixture all right so let me know if you think this is an easier tutorial that you think you will be able to make this cake, I promise you, you can. You just have to believe in yourself and enjoy your holidays. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas when it comes. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to my neighbor Jasmine from Craft Shack Creations. You can look her up on Facebook or Instagram and follow her page. She made these lovely labels for me for my cake. Thank you so much, darling. That was a great 
gesture and I really appreciate it. She also make personalized house decors for your front doors and stuff like that or any little craft that you need to hang in your house or as you can see the Jamaican one that I have in my house she made that for me so anything that you need to be personalized you can check her out on Instagram or Facebook at craft shock creations